I've been like feeling like my decor is all wrong. I'm just like bored of my living room. Like not all of it, but like there's no cut, like I don't know, like this rug has gotta go. It's so cheap and gross, like it's like pilling. I want like more color in here. There's no color. Anyway, so that's something I'm struggling with. But look at my bedroom. I finally nailed the bedding. Wow. I made the, I crocheted this blanket like last month and I really love it. I'm really like, proud of myself. And so I really wanted to like base my room around that blanket. So I ordered this quilt and pillow sham set from Target, it's their Project 62. It's so, and I just have it on top of like my white duvet with the duvet cover. It's so soft and I like that it looks like vintage and then I hung, I had this mirror hanging somewhere else and I hung it above the bed and I moved the wall hanging that was there into my living room. It goes with my new bed, which is from CB2 by the way. Um, some of you ask where I got that, where I got that. I don't know, like I'm usually like not a big, pop of color person but I think I am now like I'm ex being more accepting of color and like its role in my life and now that like my room is colorful now I think the rest of my home should be anyway vlogs off to a really intriguing start I well my neighbor this is what started it all my neighbor if you guys are familiar with Joybird, it's this like cool furniture company. And I really, I've never ordered anything from them, so I like can't talk about like the quality, but I've heard it's really good. They can, they'll send you like a whole box of all of their swatches, so he gave it to me because I was like commenting on my curiosity about them. So like look at this swatch and this swatch and imagine these together. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm like, wow, I really want some like 70s, mid-century looking like pieces. I need more color. What's happening? But I don't need anything. This is my dilemma. I think I just need to get a new area rug. I think that will make a huge difference. And then maybe over time, other things as well. But for now, area rug. I don't want to spend money. <laughs> How come I can't shop for free? This is so rude. But look at their stuff. Like it's like they have, it's really cool. Imagine that in like that green fabric. I want a house. If I'm being honest. <laughs> I just really want a house to decorate. Like I want a cute Spanish style bungalow that I can then have an unlimited budget, hire a decorator, you know, just really go in there with paint swatches and stuff and just make it my own personal project and let it be my full-time job, making over my home, planting stuff in the garden. Honestly, like I really, when you get older, like it's those things that just like really get your rocks off, but I'm a far away from uh, buying a home unless something crazy happens and I just start making crazy money um, because LA is expensive. You need like, you need to be able to like buy a house for a million dollars to have anything worth a damn. And that's just for that little cute bungalow, like a little two bedroom. That's all I need. Just a little two bedroom and 1.7 million dollars. <laughs> Is that so much to ask? But yeah, that's my dream. Sometimes I like go on Trulia and I'll like put in, you know, a fake amount, a fake budget of like one, one and a half million and just look at homes and like imagine that I'm like actually shopping for homes and I imagine like what I would do with the space. Is that pathetic? Candace is on her way over here because I told her I would cut her hair because um, I cut it for her before but this was like several months ago and it's all grown out so gotta give her a little trim 
You guys, I am reading um, To Kill a Mockingbird right now. You know, I've talked about this before, but if you have never heard me talk about it, I didn't read a lot in high school. Reading wasn't something I got into until later in life. So I never read like all of those classic high school books that everyone reads. So I've been doing that later in life. Like I read um, The Bell Jar. Was that even a high school book? I don't know, but it was like one of those classics that like everybody's read. Um, the Bell Jar, which I really liked. Um, I read Catch on the Rye. Uh, why is everyone obsessed with that book? Look, I get it. I, I think it's just not my type of genre. Um, like, I like something to be, like, happening, but it was really just, like, I'm a quirky teen. And I was just like, what, what, like, what else? <laughs> so far, it's kind of falling in line with, like, Catcher in the Rye, where I'm like, okay, this is not going to be about anything, is it? Maybe there's a twist that I don't know about, because don't tell me I'm only on chapter five. But it's also like, Dill, if you don't hush, I'll knock you bow-legged. I mean it now, y'all hush. I'm not into that. <laughs> but I am getting like into the book. Like I like reading it, but I'm just like, ugh, let's just finish this. Anyway, that's always the case. I just shouldn't trust the general public, I think, because it's just not my style of book. I think I like mystery. I like thriller. So if anyone, knowing that, if anyone has any good recommendations, like Gone Girl was like my favorite book for a while. I was obsessed with Gone Girl. I really liked The Bell Jar because it was like dark and twisty. I like dark and twisty. I like true crime, but I also like fiction. So if you have any recommendations based on that, let me know because these classics, I'm just thinking, they're a smooth fest. Candace said, I'm here. Oh my God, that was three minutes ago. <laughs> so Candace is here and when I went out to get her I locked myself out so Ted's on his way over to save the day it's hot and I'm freaking pissed sorry thanks Ted I know you were working <laughs> you know whatever I gotta do <laughs> what are you pointing at what are you looking at your face good no it was definitely pointed at your nope don't look Stop it. Stop, up, 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 up. Thanks for rescuing us. You're welcome. It's been really hot while we were sitting here. In the my shade? Ass yeah. Your ass. My yeah. Yeah. Don't it's talk burning. about my ass. I'm asking her it's about her ass. My you ass. brought up your ass. Yeah, it's been hot. So thanks. That's it? Thanks for riding over. Yeah, you're welcome. We're gonna shave your head. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, now go get a shower. What? Yas, yeah. Yeah, so let's see. Uh, she did a haircut. Mm-hmm. Jenna's really good at cutting hair. So if you want to request it, you can email her at junahaircutstyles at email.com. It looks really good, if I do say so myself. And I do. <laughs> so, still wet. We'll, we'll do an update when it's dry. Okay, whatever. Candace, what am I supposed to do with this? Well, I was thinking we put it in little baggies and then I'll just sell it online. How much would you guys pay for a little baggie in my hair? Let us know in the comments. I'm in my car now. Um, going into therapy in 20 minutes. I got here early. And I got my period this morning. So I have cramps. I feel, I feel like I'm shaking, but I'm not. You know when you like have really bad cramps and you're like, you feel like a little chihuahua? <sighs> I took four ibuprofen and two Tylenol. Sometimes you just gotta mix a bunch, of, a bunch of different stuff to get through. I also got, I'm really into aromatherapy right now. I got a um, uh, set of aromatherapy oils off Amazon called Kiss Oils, K-I-S. Not all of them are good, but the peppermint is my favorite. And sometimes you gotta stab a little bit, like a perfume. And uh, it feels good. Kind of resets you. All right, well, I gotta go into therapy. Um, I kinda wanna go see the documentary, Three Identical Strangers. 
So I plan on going to a movie after, but depending on how I feel, we'll see. But I'll check up in a little bit. <laughs> Obviously it's the next day. <laughs> I just decided I'm not showering today. That's why I'm in a really good mood. Um, I did end up going to the movies. I saw Three Identical Strangers. Highly recommend. Um, so I just spent the rest of the night just thinking about that. <laughs> then I went to Nordstrom and bought two lipsticks by Charlotte Tilbury and a Chanel lip gloss. Because the movie was just kind of emotional, and so I was like, ugh, <laughs> gotta get that <laughs> spirit back up. I'm just in a good mood today. You can see me. <laughs> just in a good mood. My camera's dying. I'm gonna go charge my camera and I'll talk to you in a minute. AKA in like four days. <laughs> so I was cleaning my apartment today and I'm wearing a dress, a dress that I like a lot. And um, it's from Zara, of course. Everything I own is from Zara. And I was taking out my trash and I had thrown frozen blueberries away that got every everywhere and I ruined it <laughs> so ugh, I didn't vlog all day I just there was nothing interesting going on I was just cleaning and I, I actually did a face mask too I'm just making spaghetti well I'm boiling the water the spaghetti's not being made yet but I ordered a new rug. I got it from West Elm. I need a new rug. My rug is gross. Did I already tell you? This is what happens when you film over the course of several days. I don't remember what I said. But anyway, I got a new rug from West Elm. You wouldn't believe what I went through. <laughs> so first of all, they charge flat rate shipping, $129. Excuse me? I'm not shipping a fucking dresser. It's a rug. So that's annoying. So I start calling around um, to the different West Elms in the city. There's only like two around here um, to see if they have it. One only has it in 9 by 12. I need 8 by 10. The other store doesn't have it at all. But they were like, but it looks like um, the... The only store that will have it is Palm Springs, and if you ask them, they might be able to UPS it to you, which will only be like a fraction of the cost compared to the flat rate if you order online. So I was like, okay. So I called Palm Springs. Luckily, I got a really nice person on the phone, and she was like, we do have it in stock. Let me find out if we are allowed to UPS it. So she like... Go talks to her manager, comes back and she's like, yes, we can. So we do the whole transaction over the phone. Let me just tell you, this woman was very sweet, but like, my God, I had to repeat everything like 500 times. I was like, my name is Joanna Spicer, J-08, and she's like, hang on, J? I'm like, oh, it was one of those things. So we like had to redo it 50 million times because she like didn't understand like my address, which is like, just a normal address but I'm like she's doing me this big favor I'm like really grateful really happy comes out to like you know I save like $70 or something I'm like worth it especially when like the month that money is like going towards shipping you know it's like if it was $70 towards a product fine but like when it's just being thrown away essentially I'm just that's annoying so I'm like, hell yeah, I just like trick cheated the system. I got my rug. Fuck, my water is boiling. So then, like two hours later, 
I get a phone call from, let me put you right here. Two hours later, I get a phone call from the Palm Springs store. And I'm like, what? So it's the woman who helped me. And she's like, I'm so sorry, but it said we had six in stock. We don't have any of that rug in stock. She's like, none, this rug is not in stores. So I'm like, why did this happen? So she's like, we voided your transaction. Sorry, you'll have to get it online. At that point, I just went and ordered it online and I paid the $129 flat rate shipping because uh, I'm starting to think that that was their plan all along. That's how they get you to pay it. They wear, it, they wear you down, destroy all your free will and confidence and then um, and then you're just willing to do just about anything to get the, the thing you need. So I did, it's coming, I don't know when. And um, and I'd also like a new couch. Hear me out. <laughs> I want the couch in the green fabric. I showed you the green fabric, right? I get bored, I get this from my mom. My mom like redecorates all the time. She'll like get new curtains or like new throw pillows or she'll, you know, she's just like, we change our mind very quickly in our surroundings because you just get used to it. And I'm already like, okay, now I'm getting a new rug, so everything has to change. <laughs> I'm feeling really good today. The medication's just working. Um, I think it was a good match for me. Um, I slowly feel myself getting back to myself. I'm definitely not there yet but I feel like I'm well on my way and that's such a relief. And so if you guys see me like in higher spirits or I'm like giddy or excited or I'm just goofing around, I'm just, I'm so relieved. And I know when I initially talked about my struggle with my mental health and with finding a medication that was going to help me. So many of you reached out and so many of you commented that you're also struggling with the same kind of thing. And I just wanna say there's hope for us all. And I hope that seeing a change in my life gives you hope that you know, there will be a change in your life too. And I just want to remind anyone watching who needs a reminder that you deserve to feel good and you deserve to be happy and to put in that effort and work and get yourself help, whether it's a free clinic whether it's telling a friend or a family member, whether it's going, making that appointment you've been putting off, or paying out of pocket if you can, or calling a hotline, you know, whatever, downloading an app, whatever the case is, just put in that effort because it will pay off immensely. You just have to be patient, and I know that that's not a very comforting thing when you're feeling like there's no possible way that you're gonna get out of this, but I'm telling you that you gotta hold on to the thought that it will get better. Because I know when, when you're in the thick of it, like, believe me, I know that it just feels like forever, but it's really not. Life is cyclical. What goes up must come down, and you know, it's just, but it's awful. And you know, I'm sorry to anyone that's struggling, and I'm here for you, and I truly 
understand what you're going through and you're not alone. Um, so I just wanted to say that um, as a reminder to, to seek help um, because there's a better life out there for you and you deserve it. And if I can do it, any... <coughs> I don't know if I'm in the mood to watch a rom-com or true crime. <laughs> I know, like one and the same. I just watch... I'm, a, I'm obsessed with true crime. Like, I just can't get enough of it. Got any wrecks? Got any documentary wrecks? Chances are I've already seen it, but throw some out there. Um... The more obscure, the better. Highly recommend Three Identical Strangers. Don't look it up. Like, don't look into the story because there's some twists um, that you're not going to be expecting. But I was enthralled. I went by myself yesterday. The only thing I wasn't enthralled by... Okay, so the theater I went to has assigned seat. But, so like when you buy your ticket, you like select what seat you want. When it's the middle of the day, I'm seeing like this Sundance documentary in like the middle of the afternoon on a weekday. No one's in the theater, right? So I select, you know, a seat in the middle, whatever. And I figure like I'm just gonna go in there and sit wherever. But I go in there, there's like two people in there. I sit down, no one's around me. This family of four comes in and their assigned seats are literally next to me. So it's me, some dude, and then like his two grandmothers, I don't know, and like someone else. And then there's no one else. Like there's like one person up in the back corner and then like one person all the way down front. First of all, why would you select four seats next to the only person in the theater. Like you can see what seats are, were, were purchased. Or when you come in and you see that they're right next to somebody like, when you like move up a row, no one's there. So I just felt so uncomfortable. It's like, look, if I'm in a packed theater, it's like, I don't care who I'm sitting next to, but like, it just felt so uncomfortable to literally just be sitting next to this strange man when there's a full empty theater but I felt like too rude to like get up and move after he sat down cuz like then click I don't know I was like going back and forth in my head cuz I'm like just move who cares like make this is your day like I was like trying to like psych myself up but then I was also like whatever like you're fine so I ended up not moving but he annoyed me the whole way I should have just next time I'm just gonna listen to myself and I'm just gonna move cuz who cares because he was just amused by everything. He was like audibly amused by everything. Like every little thing he was like, hmm, hmm, oh. Like he was one of those. And I, I hate when people talk during a movie. I'm, I just really, I hate when you're watching a movie with someone and they're on their phone. I hate when they try and talk to you. I hate when they're just talking to themselves and it's just like, shh, shush, enjoy it. And he was just like, mm. <laughs> oh jeez, mm. at things that weren't even like amusing. Like at one point, the words La Jolla, California came up on the screen and he chuckled. I don't know what kind of connection this guy has to La Jolla that like when he sees the words, he's so amused that he has to like chuckle out loud, but it made my blood boil. <laughs> So next time I'm moving, but anyway, um, the movie was good. And if you're a big fan of La Jolla, California, you just wait because there's a scene where the words are just come up on the screen only for about a second, but boy, some people are really loving it. Hot, hot, hot. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. <laughs> mmm. Hmm. I bet that's how that guy eats spaghetti. Hmm.
Mm. Well, I'm gonna go. I don't really have anything else. This video needs to go up tomorrow. So I'm gonna sign off, eat my spaghetti, edit it while watching something scary or romantic. All right, guys. I'll see you in my next video.